let's get this thing pulled in the garage i've got to do a few things to get it ready it needs uh, auction sensors put in i think i've got a vacuum leak it idles like garbage and i've got to uh adjust the tv cable uh, it doesn't want to shift <laughs> which, which to me it means it's too tight um, so anyway, we'll get it in there. My goal tonight is to get this thing to the gas station. I just want to get on the road and uh, warm it up a little bit. see it also has an adjustable regulator and it's good so we'll put that one on there um i just want to touch on a couple things so i'm about ready to pull this one off um this system max <clears throat> has already been drilled and tapped for bigger bolts that hold this on and when they did that they went through into the port so i have to use teflon tape um to keep from having a vacuum leak there. Let's see, look down in there. Uh, another thing I'm gonna do while this thing's apart, oh, look at that. You can see the uh, intake valve in that one. Um, that's an awesome intake, man, such a good intake. Um, oh, okay, while I've got this car apart, it's heat cycled enough times, I'm gonna retorque the uh, intake bolts. Um, me and Ray like doing that just to make sure the intake is, is good to go for the long haul. Um, he checked his one time and it was like down to five foot pounds. So anyways, uh, after it heat cycles a little bit, after that, that seal crushes a little more, 
be a good thing to check and save you some hassle of uh, vacuum leaks in the future. But anyway, I'm gonna quit jabbering and I'm gonna get back to work. Guys, here's some proof. Ah, uh, y'all can't see nothing. Yeah, you know, I'm at the track, it's Thursday night. Uh, proof that I'm trying. Uh, not a soul here. Only light on is a security light. So, anyway, this is sad. Um, I guess they're not doing Thursday nights for the rest of the year. But, uh, anyways, we'll try to catch another one. In the process of trying to you know, put some miles on my motor, I wore out my radials. So I had to resort back to the old turbines. It's about 11 o'clock Friday night. I'm gonna head down to the track. Denzel's been kind enough to let me borrow his Bogarts and his uh, whatever they are. Uh, Mickey Thompson ET Street R's. Uh, that's an awesome tire, good looking set of wheels. So we're about to put those on and head down the track, see if we can get some passes in before they close. Man, oh man, that looks good. Oh, that looks really good. That's sharp. Maybe tax time this year. I don't know. All right, guys. It is 12 o'clock at night. Uh, better late than never, right? Just now rolling in. We'll drop the air pressure and make it fast. Hey y'all, what's up? So, man, oh man, let's talk about them time slips. So, uh, Friday night, I, I fell asleep on the couch, snored a little bit, woke up, and uh, I was like, you know what? The track's open, I'm going, I'm tired, I'm wore out, but you know what? I wanna find out what this thing will run. So, uh, I had to borrow Denzel's tires, and I was telling myself, if Denzel's car crank up, and pull in the garage, then I'll go. And if it doesn't crank up, I'm not jumping it off. I'm, I'm going back to bed. But anyways, it cranked up. <laughs> Which like a two-edged sword. I was like, oh, Dad, gum it. I'm tired. It's been a long week at work. And um, anyways, I uh, took the car to the track and right off the interstate, I got on the track. There was nobody in the staging lanes. I didn't even check the tire pressure. I did a burnout. Uh, I kind of uh, got up on the converter a little bit to see how much it was going to, how much RPM it hold before the tires broke loose, and then let it rip. And uh, 856, man, I was not expecting that. I was tickled to death. Um, but also, like, um, we'll look at the mile per hour here in a second. The mile per hour is about the same as it was with the other motor. So we got some talking to do. All right, here we go. Time slip number one. Uh, they just went by the color of my hood. <laughs> they didn't know which color to pick. Um, 178 with a seven on the 60. That's a uh, that's pretty dang good. Um, that's better than a lot of my spray um, 60 foots. So converter for the win. Um, 856 at 79 and a half. Um, I've got a lot of 79. 79 and a half um, mile per hours with the old motor, you know, stock heads and intake. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a second. And then I coasted to the quarter. I don't, I don't run it through the quarter. But um, okay, now quick flashback. This is my first spray pass after Ray and I installed the nitrous kit. You see my 60 foot, it was a 195. That's on the spray. Um, this 178. That's motor, baby. Um, let's see. Let's come down here. Um, 862 at 81. That's a 75 shot. And, um, you know, well, you know, we just saw it. It was a 856 at 79. So I'm just, I'm thrilled with that. That's a, that's a huge improvement. 
Uh, the other two passes felt good, uh, not as good. I guess the car was getting a little more heat in it. Um, and my 60 was not as good. On this one right here, I tried to use the emergency brake to get the foot brake a little bit higher on the converter and it didn't work out that well. And on this one right here, you know, we're within, we're very close on time, 67 to a 69. On this one right here, I tried to flash the converter and it, it, it was better than the other one. But anyways, I'll get my launch technique figured out and uh, we'll continue to whittle away at this time. All right guys, so let's talk about the mile per hour. Uh, what could what could that be? Uh, Bradley sent me the DA for the other night. I can't recall off the top of my head, but it was really good. Um, but my mile per hour is the same as the old motor. Now there's a couple things that are different. Um, I did not put the equal link shorties back on. Uh, the one of the collectors was messed up and it was leaking, and I did not put the H pipe back on. So it's got stock 95 shorties and it's got. Um, the stock uh, H-pipe off of my 95 too. It's, it's been hollowed out. So <clears throat> those are um, changes that could, you know, hurt it. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, it does not have ram air on it anymore. I took that off. I'm going to do more of a straight shot uh, through the headlight instead of, you know, through the fog light and up through a box. So, um It'll get rammer again. It'll just be more direct. Uh, what was the other thing? Uh, fuel pressure. When I put my 95 rail on this car, I forgot to run the fuel pressure up. So it's at like 39. And I think it probably needs more fuel pressure uh, with the modifications done to it. So... Um, all in all, I'm tickled to death, guys. I know what 856, I'm not setting the world on fire, um, but you got to enjoy the journey. You got to enjoy the successes you have. So I'm tickled with that, and I'm already thinking of ways I can uh, <clears throat> trim that time down a little bit. So anyways, thank y'all for watching, and um, we'll see y'all later. Uh, P.S. I got a wide band. For the 88, uh, being speed density and being a nitrous car, I figured it needed uh, that to help me out. And also, um, long tube headers will be going on soon. And what was the other thing? Long tubes, oh, and throttle body and EGR special. I'll go from a 65 up to a 75. So, uh, we expect more good things to happen.